fiery horse with the speed of light, the cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver, the Lone Ranger. With his faithful Indian companion, Tonto, the masked rider of the plains led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. The stories of his strength and courage, his daring and resourcefulness have come down to us through the generations. And nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. Faster, boy, faster. I am Silver. Boy. Terror and sudden death blaze through the night in Powder Creek. Masked riders, men with tight mouths and hard, penetrating eyes, raced their horses through the once peaceful streets. Their six guns primed to destroy anyone who stood in their way. They struck first at the bank. All right, right through the door. Well, Silver, you're going to get hurt. All right, get back. Blasted the vault wide open. What are you waiting for, boys? Grab the cane. Hey, All right. Hey, what's going on here? Come on, come on, Spade. Let him have it. Bullseye. Concealed by sagebrush, the outlaws waited in ambush at the bend of a stage trail. Lock the trail. Hold there, hold, hold there, hold there, hold there, hold there. I'll take care of the driver. Oh. Get the mail, stow it in your saddlebags and hightail it. Angry customers stood lined near the bar of the cafe while the renegades looted their pockets and rifled the owner's safe. Yeah, we searched the last of them, boss. Keep your eye on them. The rest of you stuff those valuables in the sacks. Look out, the bar keeps pulling a gun. You won't make that mistake again. Head for the horses. <laughs> Along a dusty, winding wagon trail some days later, three horsemen rode. The leader was a tall man who wore a black mask. His companions were an Indian and a 14-year-old boy. They were the Lone Ranger, Tonto, and Dan, the masked man's nephew. Guess we must be getting pretty close to Powder Creek by now. Ah, we ride long time. The town lies in the valley just beyond that rise. (laughs) This country looks so peaceful and quiet. It's hard to believe it's infested with outlaws, as it says in that letter. Sometimes the most innocent-appearing places and persons 
For the worst, Dan. Uh, what letter, say? From our old friend, Windy Walters. Oh, him live long time, Powder Creek. Well, he says he has proof the leader of the gang is Speed Lawson. He doesn't want to give it to the sheriff because he thinks the sheriff may be in league with the outlaws. Oh, uh, me savvy. Well, then, then that's why Windy sent for you. He wants you to go after the killers. Looks that way, Dan. Golly, I wonder... You listen. Got it like it came from Painted Rock, Toto. Ah. Painted Rock? Well, that's where we're supposed to meet Windy. Gosh, you don't suppose somebody's trying... We'll soon find out. Come on, Silver. Get him up, scout. As the shot echoed hollowly among the boulders which went by the name of Painted Rock, the three riders spurred their mounts toward the sound. Hoofs thundered along the trail and clattered to a halt in the shale which fringed the rocky patch. Push it, oh boy, pull, pull. Steady. That's strange. Ah, may not see Wendy anywhere. Uh, maybe he's been hurt. Now wait. There's a horse beyond that rock. Come on. Oh, you look. There, Wendy. Half obscured by the brushwood which thrust between the boulders, the Lone Ranger, Tonto, and Dan saw the inert form of their old friend. He lay face down, crumpled in the awkward position of those who meet with sudden death. They clambered quickly over the rocks and loose shale toward him. Golly. See if there's anything you can do, Tonto. Uh, no. Uh, him shot through heart. Uh, what's this? Somebody make fire, burn paper. Yeah. Probably the man who murdered Wendy. There's a twig still smoking. Isn't that right? These ashes are all that's left of the proof Wendy told about. Then Speed Lawson's behind the murder? I think so. Look out! Take cover, Dan. That was a close one. Where'd the shot come from, Toto? Behind boulder over, over there. As the masked man, the Indian, and the boys scanned the boulder from behind which the murderer's shots had been fired, they heard a man's voice urging his horse and hoofs start up in the rocky patch. And they saw a lone horseman streak from the concealment of the huge rock and whip his mount in an effort to escape. There he goes. Him try to get away. Here, Silver. All right, big fella. Come on, Silver. Bolting down the trail like an arrow shot from a bull, the great horse Silver raced in pursuit of the mysterious horseman. His flying hoofs quickly narrowed the gap between the Lone Ranger and his quarry. Rain up. Rain up or I'll rope you. Keep your distance if you want to stay healthy. You can't get away. I can try. Drop that gun. I'll drop you first. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, Silver, hold on, back. Steady now, steady. With an expert flip of his wrist, the Lone Ranger sent his lariat spinning through the air and dropped it neatly over the shoulders of the outlaw. The renegade gasped as the rope tautened and pulled him up short, then lifted him bodily out of his saddle and dumped him in the dirt. The masked man rode up to his quarry and reined in the powerful white stallion. Let me go. Now take it easy. Yeah, I'll get free. Not till I say so. Oh, Scott, hold on. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Golly, you sure got him tied up in a neat knot. Ah, what we do with him? We'll take him to Powder Creek. Before reaching Powder Creek, the Lone Ranger removed his mask and disguised his face. Then he sent Tonto and Dan to make camp in an arroyo with orders to await him there. In the Powder Creek Cafe, Speed Lawson sat at a table with the sheriff. His hard face was wreathed in a satisfied smile as he poured another drink from the bottle which stood on the table. But the sheriff was plainly nervous. <clears throat> <laughs> Drink up, Sheriff. You ain't paying proper mind to your liquor. I'd pay more mind to it if I could forget what you just said, Speed. <laughs> Getting squeamish, Sheriff? Windy Walters was mighty popular in this town. When folks find out he's been murdered, there's no telling what they'll do. It's your job to see that they don't do anything. That's why me and the boys keep you in office sporting that star. Uh, if they get their dander up, there ain't nothing I can do to stop them. Besides, some folks suspicion I'm in cahoots with a gang anyway. What if they do? Can't prove it, can they? Uh, just the same. I don't see the sense of sticking our necks in the noose by waylaying Windy Walters. I told you the old moss horn got a hold of some written proof that I'm the leader of the gang. 
He wasn't taken care of, he took. I reckon you're right. Who'd you assign the job? Hook. We saw Wendy riding alone out on the trail. <laughs> Hook ought to be back any minute, and then you can relax. <laughs> relax? Take a look at who just came in the door. Hook. And he's roped. Who's the other man? I want the sheriff. What'll I do? Face him, you fool. Uh, what's the meaning of this? I think this is the man who murdered Wendy Waller out on the trail. Furthermore, he tried to shoot me. No, that's a lie. This is the man you want, Sheriff. I saw him and his friends kneeling beside Wendy's body at Painted Rock. Oh, friends too, eh? Yeah, an engine and a kid. That's a mighty queer combination. Mighty queer. Sheriff, arrest this man for attempted murder. Well, that's a likely story. I'm talking to the sheriff. I'm Speed Lawson. You better clear out of this town, mister. I'm waiting, Sheriff. I ain't arresting Hook on your say-so. It's your word against his. You're a stranger here in town. Yeah, sure he is. We don't want strangers around here, do we, boys? No, 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 no. Maybe you know something about the murder. Well, you called me a crook, huh? Don't try it. I'll ready you. No, oh, ooh, my arm. Anyone else want trouble? Rush him, boys. Let him have it. I right, come and get it. Shoot him. Tell him. Get him, boys. Get him. That's it. Now that's the ticket. Now rope him. Rope him, boys. Hard tie him. Uh, you're under arrest for disturbing the peace. I see. <laughs> see that this hombre gets a special escort to the town jail, boys. Yeah. Come on, take him out. stranger. Make tracks. We'll uh, meet again, Speed. Yeah, come on. <laughs> As the sheriff, accompanied by several renegades from the gang, marched the unmasked but cleverly disguised Lone Ranger from the cafe, Speed Lawson and Hook stared after him. While there was no sign of recognition in their eyes as to their prisoner's true identity, his cool nerve and daring gave them a sense of foreboding. <coughs> now look, get this rope off me, Speed. Hey, you, you look like a rope doggy. <coughs> Hombre was masked when I first saw him. He's out to get us. We'll get him first. When? Tonight. We'll drill him from outside the window of his cell. What about the sheriff? People might suspicion he had a hand in it. That's why we're pulling the job outside, steady inside the jail. To keep him in the clear. But speed. Nobody will be much concerned about the murder of a stranger. Oh. <laughs> Guess you're right. <laughs> They'll uh, know he's an outlaw anyway. Sure. We blame Wendy's murder on him. Well, there's uh, just one thing. What's that? That hombre has two parts. An engine and a kid. They're uh, camped outside of town. We'll take care of them later. <laughs> Two figures crouched near the window of the cell where the Lone Ranger was imprisoned. They wore handkerchiefs across the lower half of their faces and carried guns. Running swiftly across a patch of moonlight, they crept closer to the window. Yeah, this is far enough, Hook. Can you see what he's doing? Wait till I look. Oh, come on, what's the story, Speed? Mm. He's resting on his bunk. Probably sleeping. <laughs> that ought to make an easy target. Yeah. We'll riddle him so full of holes they won't be able to tell him from the bed spring. <laughs> you old said. <laughs> sure. All right. Get him square in your gun sights like I got him in mine. When I give the word, pump lead. <laughs> curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. Now to continue our story. As Speed and Hook fingered the triggers that would send bullets into the Lone Ranger's cell, two knives suddenly whistled through the night and pinioned the sleeves of each of the outlaws to the wall. What the... Hey, it's the engine, the one I told you about. Drill him. I can't. My gun arm's pinned to the wall. Mine too. Blast him. 
The outlaws struggled frantically to free their gun arms from the expertly flung knives which had pinned their sleeves. Finally, they tore the cloth loose and aimed their guns at the Indian who had interrupted their plan to murder the Lone Ranger in his cell. Catch that Indian himself. He's a killer. You not catch me. After him, boys. You follow, maybe catch me. Darn tootin' we will, Redskin. Come on, boys. Let's get that Indian. As Speed Lawson, Hook, and the sheriff rode into the night on the trail of Tonto, the Lone Ranger heard a new sound from his cell. Silver. Over here, big fella. Come on, Silver. And? Tonto lured those men away so I could bring Silver to you. Good. Now tie one into the lasso around the pommel of the saddle. Yes, sir. Here, here you are. Got it. I'll untie the other end of these window bars. Make that not a good one. I remember how you taught me. Got it. Yeah, this, this ought to do it. There. Good work. Thanks. Do you think Silver can do it? Yes, Dan. He hasn't failed me yet. That's a boy. Now show us what you can do, big fella. Come on, Silver. You can do it. Throwing all his great strength into the task, the powerful white stallion strained against the rope which was fastened to the cell window. After a moment, Dan's eager eyes saw the wooden frame splinter and the bars begin to tear free. He's doing it. He's pulling out the bars. That's it, big fella. Pull. Now I can get out. This rope. There, it's done. Here, Silver. Look. It's a game. Steady, boy. Come on, Silver. Get up there, boy. Get up. Prisoners, get in the way. Shoot him. Don't let him escape. Hello, him, boy. Come on, hello, him. Drill him. Quickly outdistancing their pursuers, the Lone Ranger and Dan joined Tonto in the camp. Speed Lawson's the leader of the outlaws. I'm sure of it. Uh, him plenty bad medicine. Yeah, and the outlaw they call Hook is just about as bad. The sheriff is also a member of the gang. Ah, when them rob, kill, him look other way. These men are as safe as long as there's no proof against them. Hand me that mask, Tonto. Golly. We only had that evidence that Wendy told about. Wendy had proof against Speed. We need proof that'll convict the entire gang. If we can locate the goods they've stolen, we'll also have proof against them for murder. Wendy's murder? Wendy wasn't the only one killed by the gang, Dan. Now, how we find stolen goods? Speed surely knows the hiding place. Hook probably does, too. The next day, Speed Lawson and the sheriff conferred in the latter's office in the town jail. Let's keep on Hook. Didn't he know we were meeting here today? Oh, he'll be along. He's always late. I tell you, Speed, I don't like it at all. That army's escaping. He suspects a little too much of the truth. Yeah. wonder who he is, anyway. I don't know. But I'll feel a lot better when he's out of the way. Yeah, I reckon after that prison scare we gave him, he pushed off for other parts. Don't be too sure. That army struck me like a man who was used to getting what he went after. Mm. Got the same feeling from looking at him myself. Right now, he's after us. Somebody coming. Yeah, that's only Hook. Hey, hey, I found him. Found who? Yeah, the hombre you escaped. He's wearing a mask again. Yeah, and he's with the engine and the kid I told you about. I came across their camp. It's in an arroyo about uh, five miles from town. I know the place. Did you see the mask, Ritter? No, he was off someplace. But the engine and the kid were there. Why didn't you get him? Oh, I figured if we waited, we could ambush all three. I don't savvy. Tonight, they'll all be there, the three of them. We can sneak up on them in the dark and then shoot them down before they'll know what hit them. Yeah, Hook's right. Once we lay them six feet under, nobody will have a thing on us. Sounds easy. But that mask critter's a slippery coyote. How do you know he won't squirm out of the trap? He'll make sure he won't. How? Oh. Hook and me will go after him first. You and the rest of the gang will lay low some distance behind us. If they escape our fire and make a run for it, you and the boys will riddle them. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> that way it's a cinch. Now, their camp's back against a rocky cliff. You can surround them on three sides, and the cliff will cut them off in the rear. Sounds slick enough. It is slick. This time, they won't have a chance of getting away. Yeah, as soon as you hear our fire, then you start moving in with the boys. Yeah, that's a ticket. And if you see the masked man, the engine, or the kid still perpendicular, drill them down. I savvy, Speed. What time will we move out there? Uh, about midnight. You ought to be sleeping by then. Yeah. 
Ain't no sense in fighting resistance if we can finish them off without it. <laughs> <laughs> and this time, it's really going to be their finish. Late that night, a band of horsemen rode out of Powder Creek. Under a heavy, shadowy sky, they slipped almost silently along the stage trail in the direction of an arroyo not far from town. Then the faint flicker of a fast-dying campfire in the hollow served notice that they had reached their destination. Oh, 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 steady, oh, oh, oh. Is that the place where the campfire's burning out, Hook? Yeah. What's the matter? Well, I don't know. Seems to me when I saw it this afternoon, it was located about a quarter mile farther up the old road. I reckon they moved camp. It'll make no difference as long as it's still backed up by the cliff. Yeah. We'll surround it just the same. Sure. All right, Sheriff. Take the boys and spread out. Fan a half circle and cut off their getaway on these three sides. Yeah, I know what to do. The minute I hear gunfire, the boys and me will move in. That's it. Hook and me will mosey on ahead. Yeah. Uh, if everything's right, you won't have anything to do, Sheriff. <laughs> Come on, Speed. Get up, boy. Come on. Get, get up. up. As Speed and Hook carefully guided their horses down the sloping side of the arroyo to the basin, the sheriff and the gang stealthily formed a wide half circle and cautiously approached the still flickering campfire. We uh, better leave the horses here, Speed. Yeah. And cover the rest of the way on foot. Ain't far. Now, hold there. Oh, steady, steady, boy. Steady there. Steady. I don't hear anything. You? No. <coughs> I reckon they're sleeping. Come on. You can see them now. Yeah. All three of them wrapped in blankets close to the fire. <laughs> Easy pickings, <laughs> Speed. Easy is right. We can't miss at this range. Iced your six guns and we let them have it. Just give me the word. Now. Taking careful aim by the smoldering campfire, the renegades fingered the triggers of their six guns. An orange flame stabbed the darkness of night. A staccato stream of lead poured into the blanket-wrapped objects in the low glow of the fire, and the outlaws cautiously awaited the result of their shots. But they ain't even stirred. <laughs> no wonder. We put enough slugs in them to pin them to the ground. Let's take a look. Yeah, this one looks like it might be. What is it, Speed? Why, this ain't the masked man. Just a lot of saddlebags stuffed in a blanket to look like him. What? Then the others. That's right, Hook. The other two are fake to resemble my friend. It's him. Talk on you. This time I'll measure you. You drop gun. Oh. All right, man. Uh, you won't have a chance now. Yeah, my boys are here coming. You're cut off. Not quite. Huh? You look behind you, you'll see a crevice in the cliff. Yeah, it's true, Speed. They can still make a getaway. Yes, that crevice cuts through the rock to the other side of the cliff. Last you, Hook, you said this trap was foolproof. How'd I know they'd move camp? Gang, come plenty quick. They're coming to kill me, huh, Speed? Yeah, if they catch you. They won't catch me, but they might catch someone who will look like me. What do you mean? Put on this extra mask and my white hat. But, but the boys will think I'm you. That's what I want them to think. Well, it's murder. They'll kill me. No worse than you've done to others. <laughs> I won't stay. I'm getting out of here. Oh, you're not. You're going to face them. I'll be standing in this crevice with a gun in my hand. I'll be between two fires. If the gang don't get me, you will. Put on that mask and hat. Oh, wait. Give me a chance. I don't want to die. you, you got to give me a chance. I'll give you a chance, Speed, on one condition. What's that? That you tell me where you've hidden the loot you've stolen. Oh, I can't. I Hurry, can't. the gang's almost here. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. It's buried in Bear Gulch, the northeast corner at the foot of Scrub Tree. If you're lying, you'll go hard with your partner, Speed. I'm taking Hook with me. Huh? No. You can't get rid of me that way, Speed. Tell him the truth. Quick, the truth. And he did lie. I'll tell you. It's buried at Painted Rock, all of it. Oh, bless you, Hook. That's what I wanted to know. Come on, Tuttle. Come, um, me come. As the gang thundered in for the kill, the Lone Ranger and Tonto quickly escaped through the crevice and the cliff at their backs. On the other side of the rocky wall, Silver and Skull were waiting to take them out of gun range of the renegades. Oh, 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 oh. Where are they, Speed? Got away through that crevice. We can still catch them. Come on, boys. Not that way, you fool. That crevice is only wide enough to admit a man on foot. They had the horses wait on the other side of the cliff. You'll have to ride around. I will never find yes, them. Yes, you will. They're heading for painted rock and the stolen loot. I tail it there as fast as you can. Hook and he'll follow. Whip up them horses. We're heading for painted rock. Come on. There 
they are, Speed. Fast man in the engine. Yeah, digging up the loot. Let's get them on, Brady. Come on, boys. Whoa, 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 whoa. Rush them, drill them. They won't get away this time. Turn back. Yep. Let me get them. What was that? Look, a posse riding us down. Oh, we've been tricked. Let me out of here. I want you, Speed. I'll riddle you. No, you won't. Oh, oh wing me. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. They are, Marshal. These are the leaders of the gang. Throw down your guns. You're under arrest. <laughs> it's the Marshal. Yes, Sheriff. I see I'm needed to uphold the law on Powder Creek. You're a disgrace to that star. <laughs> I can explain. Shut up. I'm arresting a lot of you for robbery and murder. Now you can't prove murder? The Lone Ranger gave me all the proof I need. He dug up the place where you hid the loot. The Lone Ranger? So he's the hombre that tricked us. Sure. You can't win against that hombre. just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. <laughs>